So, like we touched on the carpet a little bit here, it has been a crazy year. When we had you last year back here in, not this room, it was a little nicer of a room, but this will do. Um, things were just starting to heat up. Yeah. Talk to me about the last year. What, what, what has happened? It's been the same. We've been very busy. We've been working very hard, but, uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun at the same time. I like to keep everything nice, lighthearted, good vibes all around. So, I've uh, just been making some great music and, and um, being able to travel and see the world and, and just, you know, make people's days by performing. <laughs> so, it's dreams come true, I guess, for me. How, how long has this dream been a dream? Um, Forever? Geez. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's always been a hobby of mine, you know, making music. I've been writing songs since I was six. Um, but I was also a competitive swimmer and, like, a surfer and stuff too. So, I mean, it was just, like, on the side. You know, it was nothing more than just a hobby. I, I'd never taken a singing lesson or whatever. It was just it was very casual for me until people, like, I posted a song online that, that I did. I was like, I want to, you know, I want to see what people think. And I had no experience whatsoever, but people started paying attention. That's when I sort of, you know, hit me that maybe this was a possibility and, and it was, and it just turned into something much more. And I'm, and uh, I've totally embraced it. And yeah, it's amazing. What was your stroke? I, I used to be a swimmer as well. I was but a breaststroker. You were a butterfly. I was everything, but I was a butterfly. That's basically. the hard one. What were you yeah. thinking? I mean, I just. <laughs> That's difficult. Yeah, but it suited me. I liked it. Yeah. Have you been able to surf? You talk about traveling the world more than ever now. Yeah. Where have you been able to surf around the world? Oh, um, well, I live in Cali. I live in LA. So down south from there a little bit, there's some pretty nice breaks. Um, but um, I honestly I haven't had the chance to. We've only been like Europe and like Japan and stuff. And, Not exactly um, surfing countries. Yeah. So, I mean, I do. I make the most of it when I go home to Australia because that's the best place for it. So. Right. Well, we, I think when we talked last, the record was about, to, I think, it, what, in the fall came out? Something yeah, like that? Yeah, October, and the new one's coming in a month's time. So that's what I was going to ask you. Okay, yeah. so, so there is a new record coming. Yes. And how is it? How is your songwriting progressed? Because, um, I mean, the first record... It's much more mature, and, like, the first one, I was just all over the place, to be honest. Like, I, I didn't know exactly where I wanted to head, and um, the first one was sort of a... A mixture of like the stuff that I'd done in the past, you know, my EPs and singles and whatnot, and then this, um, and then a mixture of also had a little bit like of you know foreshadowing of I guess what was coming in the future. And this new album is is all the way there, pretty much. So, yeah. Focused yeah. on what? What are you? What are you writing about for this? One? Um, it's you know, it's all it's all about women. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it always all about women? Yeah. yeah. But um, you know, the vibe is very, very relaxed, very beachy. A um, couple of reggae jams. I did a song with Ziggy Marley on there. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, which was pretty sick. And then um, just some, some really feel good, like summery, like beachy records. Just like a classic summer album, you know. But it's definitely, um, it's very cohesive. That's much more of a sound, and really discovered what I wanted, to, what I want to sound like. So that's why you recommended Jack Johnson upstairs. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much, man. Thanks really so appreciate much, it. Thank My you. pleasure. Thanks,